Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Writer. In this module, I want to show you how you can use calculations in a table. So on the screen, I've got a simple table with some figures in this column, the first column, and then some headings, and this is what I'm going to do. So if you want to add up a set of column of figures, like this one, you just need to get where you want the answer to be. And then on the table tab, you've got sum. If I click on sum, and then the formula bar sort of appears, and then you just basically select the area that you want to add up, in this case, that range. Notice how it puts these little symbols around it. Click the tick if that's what you want, and you get the answer, seven. So one, three, five, seven. Now for the other things, you haven't got anything here to click on in terms of maximum, minimum, and average, and so on. What you can do, is you can just tick equals and that will activate the formula bar and then you can go to this FX button functions and select the one you want so this one is going to be max so max and then the same process applies you just highlight the list click the tick so that's the maximum number and the good news is if I change that to three these both change now in Word I would have to update fields but this automatically changed which is really good so I'll type equals for that one, go to the FX, this is going to be min, so minimum number in that list, which is one, you can see that already, click the tick, and then the average, so type equals, and then select the function you want, mean, select the range, check it, click the tick, so the average is two, and then count the last one, so equals, Pick the function you want, count, and then just select the list. Check the formula, click the tick. So there's four items in that list. And then just to, if you want to do a basic sum, you type equals to activate this bar. You click on the cell that you want. You do the operator that you want, and then the next cell, and so on and so on. So I just click, I'll just click on those two, tick, and I get three. So if I change any of these figures, these all change to react to that the only one that didn't change was the minimum and count didn't change either so this is like a dynamic table now so these are going to be automatically updating dependent on these figures so that's just a very very quick video on how you can use formulas in a writer table so hopefully that was of use thank you for your time i'll catch you in the next one